Hi, I'm Katherine Harrop of the New York Sun, here at Reason.tv's launch party in New York City. And I'm talking with Nick Gillespie, editor of Reason.com and Reason.tv. Reason TV, the video web uh, complement to Reason Magazine and Reason Online, launched in October of 2007. And it's built around the Drew Carey Project, which is an ongoing series of uh, video segments, of journalistic segments and videos done by Drew Carey. Uh, and uh, what had happened was uh, about a year and a half ago, Drew approached us and said, look, I've been reading the magazine for a long time. I like it. I want to put some of the stories that you're telling to, to pictures, to images, and to kind of move things. So uh, we hatched a, a scheme where uh, Drew is narrating and hosting a bunch of uh, episodes, uh, shows, video segments that talk about the way in which government policies screw over regular people, uh, uh, deal badly with people, and also what are the, what are the possibilities for uh, free minds and free markets uh, to, uh, to flourish. It's been uh, tremendous. Uh, we have had uh, the, the biggest video that we've had, uh, one about medical marijuana raids in uh, California, pulled more than two million visits. Uh, we have been hosted on over a thousand different sites. We have an open source architecture, which means that we allow people to take our uh, video code and embed it anywhere they want on any website they want, because what's important to us is getting these ideas and these stories out. Uh, it's really not about Reason TV or maintaining that. I mean, we have quality standards and we have a brand and all of that, but what it's mostly about is telling interesting stories that really connect with people on a very emotional as well as uh, analytic level. What we're hoping to do with Reason TV is really kind of become a C-SPAN for libertarian ideas. Our, the magazine and the foundations uh, that, that publishes us, our uh, motto is free minds and free markets. And what we're trying to do is to create a whole slate of programs which include the Drew Carey Project, which include uh, pieces done by staffers, which include uh, uh, pieces done by freelancers or people submitting stuff that kind of show what is the, what's the power of individuals who want to live a particular way to create the world uh, that makes everybody a little bit richer and makes everybody a little bit better off and everybody a little bit freer. One of the things that is clear in American politics is that we have a uh, politics of exhaustion. The Republican Party, after a disastrous eight-year run by George W. Bush and a long time with the Republicans running Congress, where they overspent, uh, where they uh, were overly adventurous in a way that they had declaimed all through the 90s when Bill Clinton was president, mm -hmm. that what was known as a kind of conservative Republicanism, Republicanism is washed out. I mean, it's over. They had their opportunity, and they were not true to their own rhetoric. On the other side of the aisle, you have Democrats who have not had a good idea or a new idea since FDR, basically. It's all been warmed over. And I think you see at, in Reason TV's audience, as well as in the people who produce Reason TV and Reason.com, is an understanding that those categories and those parties and those labels are exhausted. And what we need now are people who embrace the ability of individuals to create a, a, a bold new world in which uh, people are more free to decide how to live their lives, uh, both at the macro level and at the micro level.